of asthma. In 1890, he, his winter landscape gave, uh, was given the Webb Prize of $1,000. In 1892, he received the Shaw Prize for the best figure drawing from his paintings entitled In the Sun. He died at a home of, of a friend in New York City. After impressive funeral services in New York City, attended by his artistic friends, uh, his body was brought to Evansville, Wisconsin, and buried at Maple Hill Cemetery on April 6, 1896. He rests beside his father and mother. The last summer of his life was spent in Vermont, where he felt convinced that he had found the character of landscape best suited to his treatment, or his temperament. The uh, Theodore Robinson leaves to his friends the memory of a man most sincere and lovable, and to the art of his country, the legacy of an inspired and personal work. Uh, so that's kind of a synopsis of his life. Um, his friend Lowell described him as Google-eyed, lantern-jawed, um, and a man with great character and great humor and quick wit. He was a man who uh, had a mission. He had a passion for painting. His early works, uh, probably, if you look at the drawings that are over on either side here, are, these are probably early works of his. They are you know, a classic uh, style. When you look at them, you'll find that they have, there's an air to them. You can, you can reach around them there. The figures themselves have space. They are not like flat drawings. You look at the shadows, the strength of the shadows, the darkness of, say, the man on the left here, the leg, on, there's a, a very strong dark in the back that gives you some depth between what's behind it and the leg itself. When I look at this, <coughs> I think of my old figure drawing classes, and the first thing that you look at is how the, uh, how the figure s stands and how it rests, and what happens to the arms, what happens to the shoulders. If, if an arm is reaching, the shoulder goes down, and the other one counterbalances and usually comes up. If you look at this, that's happening with that. If you look at the structure of muscle in it, it's the same thing. Uh, there's counters to everything that's happening. If you look at the one on this side, the right one, it's a whole different figure. That one uh, is more in action. This is more stand, just stand still. <laughs> but look at the line that travels down through the figure. Uh, and the contrast, and how he picks up the shadow that casts here. And he has a very little bit of light on the back of the, uh, the figure that's a reflected light. So he gets a separation between the body and the arm. Those are things that he's pretty uh, adept at doing. Um, when he was working in Duran's uh, studio. That was all classic drawing. Uh, that was a, uh, a studio or a uh, art school in which they, they dealt mostly with very classic solid figures. 